hey youtube welcome back to my channel if you're new here click that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on your post notifications in today's video i'll be showing you how to make the famous quesabiria tacos at first you'll need a uh, chuck roast uh, mine's is two pounds boneless chuck roast a large pot mine's is about three quarts you'll need some neck bones or beef bones corn tortillas i'm using el milagro my favorite kind the guajillo chili peppers bay leaves some tomato chicken bouillon cubes adobo seasoning chili powder cinnamon you also need clove white pepper some cilantro paprika onion powder black pepper garlic powder some sazon oregano some red onion some fresh cilantro carrots for the stock you don't really need chicken broth because you're making broth I don't know why I included that but you can Oaxaca cheese I was just showing the back Mexican string cheese if you're not familiar. First, I'm going to show you how to cut and DC the guajillo peppers. I left some of the seeds in, but very little. If you like more of a spice, you can. I was unsure of how spicy the peppers were, so... That's why I took out majority of the seeds, but next time I'll probably leave in more because I do like a little bit of spice and my burial was not spicy at all. You see, I took majority of the seeds out of almost all of them. So the spice level was like non-existent. So I have a pot of water now, a half pot of water. I'm going to go ahead and start adding in my neck bones. I cut my ground chuck into huge chunks, just sort of break down a little bit more evenly. You'll see that in a second. I added about four to five neck bones to the pot just to make a good broth. Then you see me adding in the pieces of chuck roast that I cut into larger chunks. Now I'm adding in my aromatics, the half of, well, whole purple onion, just halved. Cut the carrots into halves. I used two carrots because they were kind of skinny. Adding in all of my peppers. I'm gonna go ahead and push those down. You see, my pot's my pot is over full. This is the seasoning mixture of all the seasonings. I forgot to say add cumin as well, but add cumin because I don't think it's Mexican food without cumin in it. I mixed all of those in the bowl and then I just threw them on top. Now I'm gonna add in one of the tomato bouillon cubes. Just use one and I just crumbled it up on top. As you can see. Now 
we don't skimp on the seasonings around here, baby. As you can see, we're making our own broth. That's what the consomme is. So, full of flavor. Now I'm going to add in my bay leaves. I added in a lot. Keep track of how many you have because you're going to have to fish them out later. And I forgot how many I had in there. So... I'm just going to stir all of the seasons around so all of the meat and veggies all get immersed in the flavor. Like I said, you don't really have to add chicken broth, but I just added a little bit on top of the vegetables. You could continue to just use water because you're pretty much making your own broth. You'll also need garlic, preferably garlic cloves, but I just used the minced garlic that I had. Everything still turned out fine, and I supplemented a lot of garlic powder in the seasoning just to have the required taste. I'm going to go ahead and stir that up. Let it sit for an hour. hour later. And we're back. And now I'm going to go ahead and fish out all of those peppers and put them in the blender because we're going to go ahead and get ready to blend those up and add those back into the broth. The recipe that I'm following, I'm following a few different recipes. I'm not really following one specific one. So um, majority of them said to take the peppers out and blend them separately and then take out the aromatics and just sit those to the side. But I figure why not just blend the aromatics with the peppers. So here you see me taking out the carrots and onions and the bay leaves as well. I blended up the carrots and the onions with the peppers just to continue adding the same flavor because what I'm going to do with them? Throw them away? No. So I discarded the bay leaves, but here you see me taking it all out. I'm adding the carrots and onions into the blender with the peppers right here because I'm just going to blend all of those up. I also used a little bit of the broth to just make it a little bit less thick. I'm fishing out a bay leaf right here. <laughs> But I'm going to go ahead and blend up the carrots, onions, and peppers. Now I'm going to fish off the foam and fat that is cooking out of those bones and remove that off of the top of the broth before I add in my puree. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in the puree pepper mixture. And this is what's going to give your consomme that beautiful red hue along with the chili powder. Now I'm going to go ahead and stir this up, put the top on, and let it cook for another three, three hours. hours later. Now I'm taking the top off of my pot. I'm checking on it, seeing if my meat is tender, and it's way more tender than it was the last time that I checked. But I'm going to go ahead and let it cook for just a little bit longer so it's like unbelievably tender. Here you see some of the neck bones, how all of the meat has fallen off, cooked off of the bone, fall off the bone tender. But we're going to go ahead and let it cook a little bit longer so our chuck roast can do the same. 20 minutes later. And here we are, you guys. Now we are ready to go ahead and fish out our tender meat. And I'm going to go ahead and separate the meat from the bones. And that's all this clip is showing you.
So now I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle in a little bit more chili powder for the red hue and a little bit more flavor in the consomme. My meat is right here, tender and separated. I'm going to show you how to pull apart the Oaxaca cheese. It's literally like a big ball of string cheese and that's exactly what it is. So all I'm doing is pulling it apart how you did string cheese in the elementary school days, literally. Like separating it into the amount that you want, the length that you want your pieces to be, and just pulling it apart. It's that simple, and that's all I'm going to be doing. Showing you a close-up, literally pulling it apart like mozzarella cheese. It's literally that simple. That's all there is to it. So here's my cheese. Here's my cilantro and onions cut up off camera. And we are ready to assemble our tacos. So I'm taking my grease cast iron, my baby cast iron skillet. And I got my whole taco assembly station. Got my El Milagro corn tortillas ready to dip, baby. Dip. Dip it. Throw that into a screaming hot sizzling cast iron skillet. I'm going to put my cheese on top. Put as much cheese as you want. These are quesabiria tacos though. So you can't forget the queso. It's like a quesadilla and a birria taco combined. It's the best of both worlds. going to go ahead and add on my meat, my onions, my cilantro. Nicholas, I am a chef. And now I'm going to go ahead and get ready to flip it over. I'll just use my tongs, but eventually I ended up using a spatula to flip it more so it doesn't break as easy. But doesn't that look so good? My mouth is watering with me like doing this voiceover right now. I can't. <laughs> See, I use my spatula because it's a little bit more easier. <clears throat> and this is just the first of many. So, yeah, it wasn't the most perfect, but tasted bomb, though. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my last taco and put it on the platter with the other tacos. You see the other tacos on my platter. I'm just going to go ahead and place the last one on there. So for this part, if you're serving multiple people, you can put your consomme in separate bowls. This was just for me and Nicholas, so I just figured for the filming portion, I could just put it in one bowl. I put my consomme in the glass bowl, sprinkled a little bit more purple onion and cilantro on top. Going in. And here we go, you guys, the finished product. And now we are going to move on to the mukbang slash first impression portion of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and subscribe. Hey, y'all. This is our first impression of the birria tacos. You can grab one. Grab anyone? Yeah. Alright. What are we gonna do with one, two, three? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Right. We're dipping it in a consomme or whatever that's called. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm. 
It just so good. Yeah, that tastes good. Tastes authentic. <laughs> I will buy, I will pay for this at a restaurant. How much a taco? I don't know, you know they're charging thirty dollars a taco now. <laughs> I hope hopefully yours ain't that expensive. Nah, but they will be pricey because it's been cooked there all day. It's not something quick to assemble. Well it is if you throw your meat in the crock pot. You could also do this recipe in the crock pot. But the cinnamon roll my pajamas. And I already did. <sighs> mm. It's worth the labor of love. The crunchy um tortilla. The tender beef. The cheese is good. The onions and cilantro take it to another level. It's not too salty either. I went easy on the sodium. I didn't really follow the recipe as usual. Yeah, it's good. I like the cilantro too. You want some? Mm -hmm. You want the tacos? Mm -hmm. You want your first taco? Mm -hmm. It's kind of messy, Kenzie. I gave her some of my You need it. A little taste of the bread. She ate it. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. We finna finish up this, this dinner. Got enough to do a little bit for them tomorrow. So, I'm satisfied. 10 out of 10, would cook again. Just gotta have the time to do it. And, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Peace. Yeah, peace.